Look at this. I just asked AI to do a junior data scientist job in just four seconds. It wrote the code, it fixed the syntax error, and it even commented the script. So why does the world still need you? Because that AI doesn't know if the training data is biased. It doesn't know how to connect that script to a live, messy legacy database. And it definitely doesn't know how to explain the ROI to your CFO. To survive in the coming year, you need to stop thinking like a coder and start thinking like an architect. The era of the syntax warrior is over. Today, I'm going to give you top three data science courses to build the technical stack that actually gets you hired in the new landscape. Now, before we get to the courses, we have to define the technical playing field. What are we working with? In the new year, the data scientist is the hybrid. It's part engineer who builds the pipelines, part statistician who validates truth, and part product manager who drives value. Let me tell you a story about a shoe company that I was recently working with. They spent weeks building a churn prediction model. Technically, it was perfect. They tuned the hyperparameters, achieved a rock score of 0.99. And for those who are new to the field, that means the model was incredibly good at distinguishing between customers who would leave and those who would stay to buy. So they presented this model to the CEO, the confusion matrix, and talked about precision and recall. He looked at them and said, okay, but how do I use this? to sell more shoes right now. The team froze. They had the model, but didn't have a pipeline. They didn't have a way to serve those predictions to the marketing team in real time. They knew the math, but didn't know the system. That is a trap and to avoid it, your roadmap needs three specific technical layers. So let's start with it. Layer one is tooling. If you have zero experience and want to land your first data scientist job in 12 months, let me tell you what worked for most of my mentees. DataCamp's Associate Data Scientist in Python Track. I've used DataCamp since day one of my own coding journey. And what sets it apart is how hands-on every single lesson is. I'm pushing this to number one because it enforces the engineering side of data science through active coding. You're not just watching videos. You're actually coding real-world scenarios, mastering Python, pandas, and machine learning step by step. The track includes essential courses like data manipulation with pandas, vectorization with NumPy, exploratory data analysis, and working with categorical data, plus tons of practical projects like analyzing New York City school test scores or predicting movie rental durations that you can straight add to your portfolio. And once you complete the track, you're ready for DataCamp's Associate Data Scientist Certification, which is industry recognized and actually tests your ability to solve real business problems under exam conditions. If you want to build technical confidence and prove your skills to employers, I cannot recommend this path enough. Now, once you can code, you will hit a ceiling. You will run a model and it will fail. It will overfit. It will hallucinate. To fix it, you need to open the black box. You need math. My second pick is the mathematics for machine learning specialization. This one's from Coursera. Here's the technical reality of why you need this. First, linear algebra. In this year, everything is embeddings, texts, images, audio. It's all converted into vectors, which is a list of numbers. When you ask ChatGPT a question, it is performing dot products and matrix multiplication to find the answer. If you don't understand dimensionally reduction or PCA, principal component analysis, you won't understand how to optimize these massive AI models. Second is multivariate calculus. How do machines actually learn? They use an algorithm called gradient descent via backpropagation. They try to minimize a loss function, basically the mathematical definition of a mistake. I know this sounds scary, but think of it like this. The Python code is the car. The math is the combustion engine. When the car breaks down on the highway, the driver is useless. 
You need to be a mechanic. We have the tooling, we have the logic with the math, now we need the edge. This is what separates the dinosaur data scientists from the data scientists who are leaders of this year. In generative AI and LLM operations, this is where data scientists meet systems engineering. So in this year, companies don't want a static chart. They want an agent. You need to learn RAG, Retrieval Augmented Generation. This is the architecture of connecting your company's private data, that SQL database that we learned earlier, to large language model so it can answer questions accurately without hallucinating. Now imagine walking into an interview. Candidate A says, I can analyze your sales data. Candidate B says, I built an internal RAG pipeline that allows your sales team to chat with the database and generate contracts automatically. Candidate B wins every single time. So here's your game plan for the next year. Phase one, live inside data camp, get that certificate I was talking about, build the engineering muscle, links are below. Phase two, layer in the math, understand the engine, Again, link is below. Build the system, master Gen AI. The technology changes fast, but the fundamentals of logic, data, and value, they don't change. Don't let that scare you. Start with the foundation. I've linked all of these courses down below in the description. It's the best place you can start. If this roadmap gave you clarity, hit that like and subscribe button so I know that you're ready for the next year and I will see you in another video on AI engineering that I will link here. See you there. Bye.